Hey, right behind me here is a 1906 home here in Las Cruces. It's on the uh, National Register of uh, Historic Places. And, um, you know, uh, there, there is an upstairs that is uh, an apartment with access from the back. I'm going to show you that. I can't show you the upstairs. There is a tenant there. There's also a house in the back that is a casita. They're calling it a casita that is also rented that is a part of this property. Downstairs is 1,296 square foot, three bed, um, two bath. And uh, we're gonna go through and, and walk through and uh, show you what this house is, uh, is all about. I just had to come check it out because of its historical uh, value to me. I, I love old historic homes built in 1906. It's gonna be a very cool house to check out. So this house is uh, located at 400 West Las Cruces Avenue. And that's the corner of Armijo and uh, West Las Cruces. So uh, let's uh, go in and uh, take a look. Wow, I gotta show you the view here. You know me, the end of La West Las Cruces, you can see the, uh, the uh, organ needles right there too. So anyway, we're right downtown Alameda uh highly desired area really uh people love it down here and i love the old home so let's go take a look inside the house okay so uh mature trees all around in the yard uh, i got a big palm tree here and uh gingerbread kind of house man this is really a cool old house it needs a lot of work um, and of course, you know, there's a variety of things you could do with a property like this, you know, uh, this could remain a rental and you'd have three renters, one for the main stairs, uh, uh, the main house downstairs, the casita is out back and there's a rental upstairs as well. Or, uh, this house could be returned to its original grandeur, you know, and, um, be just, uh, uh, turn back into uh, a wonderful home and uh, wow that's a cool lamp right there okay it's front porch lamp so anyway this is a cool house let's go inside and see what we got as you first come in you have a little landing area here and you are basically in your kitchen and you have uh, room for maybe two bar stools a little storage room down there and all the hardwood floors in this house uh, is really cool and you know there's just a lot of charm to the woodwork if you like this kind of woodwork it's something i happen to love and uh so i just had to come see it for myself and maybe somebody that uh checks out the video will want to come see it in person and check it out so this is what you've got here frosted glass in these ca uh kitchen uh cabinetry here all right so a little cabinet space here and you can see you know these these are in good shape for their age I mean these have been around a long time okay we have electric stove here and refrigerator goes right here and this is your kitchen so um, let's take a little peek here you know I love to see if things work and this works so you get this little window here I mean it's just a it's kind of a charming issue you know I, I just love that kind of thing so that's above the sink. Now let's go back to the front door here and we're gonna go left and we have kind of your grand room or your your uh, maybe uh, formal living room uh, or something like that. There's also another door that comes into this part as well, just right, uh, right over here is a door to this room and right there is the door we came in. So again, look at that door, just really ornate uh, beveled glass and uh, just really beautiful woodwork in this house okay so let's uh, continue and as we pass through uh, this room again the kitchen to the right okay now here's a uh, floor heater I've seen those before and uh, you have a double door here so uh, you know hey call it the parlor I don't know it's pretty cool uh, with these cool doors and uh, some wrought iron 
uh, little corner brackets in the doorway. So this is what you have for this room here. So living room, parlor, kitchen, and then we're just gonna go this direction to my left and come in to this bedroom here. And uh, so uh, this is might be pretty much, I think, it might be the largest bedroom, but we'll, we'll ch check that out as we go along. So small closet right there. Again, these charming old windows built into this house. And these actually are operating. You got your little old brass uh, deals and um, latches. And so this is your old original. I'm, I just, I keep thinking I'm, I should be right in saying that this is uh, along the lines of a craftsman style home. Very cool, very cool old home. All right, so back in the parlor. Now we're gonna turn left back into the kitchen. And as we, uh, front door, kitchen, and swing right around here. And straight off the kitchen here is the uh, dance, one of the bathrooms, okay? So in this bathroom, you've got a built-in uh, wood cabinet here. And look at this old thing right here. You know, just love the dark wood in these sort of houses. And take a look here at the uh, cabinets. Um, yeah, very cool old stuff. In the high, the high baseboards that come up off of these. You've got a ball and claw tub. That is a cast iron ball and club um, ball in, uh, in uh, cloth a tub there. Been around a million years too, probably. Okay, so let's go on down here. So again, kitchen. Now we're going to go to the left, and we we've got a downstairs, uh, five steps or so down. Okay, and in this area we've got a stackable washer dryer. Uh, in this spot and you can see this was uh, originally outdoors. So this is something that was uh, an addition or covered patio area something they've added um, These are very cool these old cabinets like this uh, That are uh, built into the wall and just awesome stuff in that regard Okay, here's a really weird little bathroom. So you got a couple of steps up back into the, you know, what was probably the original part of the home or something. I'm not sure how this was all thrown together. It looks like it was an added room, but you do have two steps up and then you have a shower enclosure. You have the old um, toilet here <laughs> and look at these old switches. So you got these old switches for this house in some of the areas that are like that. And very tiny little sink uh, nook here. Okay, so we're gonna come out of the bathroom and let's go on back to this room here that is added on. And um, again, so this is a little closet, little uh, armoire looking style to give you a little closet and cabinet space in this area here, okay. And then we're gonna go through this door into this room, which I would call, you know, I mean, this could be another bedroom. Uh, this is not set up right. They've kind of put it together, but um, this is a closet in here. So if you can see that, I can't get in there, but um, so it's a closet inside of here that needs a little adjust, a little change to the way the doors work. And these are your old windows. Uh, as well. It's like a little school across the street there. All right. And so let's just kind of spin around here, show you the ceiling as they've dug this room here. Okay. So that is that. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to take you out in the backyard give you a peek at, 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 you know, from ground level of the casita in the other room. But I'm going to venture down to the basement. The tall steps. Okay, here we go. So now we're in the basement area, okay? 
very short, oh uh, gosh, seven foot, maybe ceiling getting in down here. And you've got a little ground level window that looks out the window here. All right, and a little storage cupboard here. And I have no idea they've put They've closed that up, so I don't know what was in there or is in there, but um, whatever this could be, storage, a game room. I, I don't know exactly what you would do with this place, but it's a very short ceiling. And since I love basements so much, I think I'll go back upstairs. Lord have mercy. Okay, there we go. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you a peek out this door which is uh, down these stairs from the kitchen and it is to the side of the house. So now we're looking back at Las Cruces uh, Avenue and then down the side of the house to the backyard area. So I think what we'll do is we'll go back out through the other door and check out the backyard and I can kind of show you what I can show you uh, uh, due to the fact that they are rented areas but um would be good for you to take a look at okay so here we go all right so out we go and then uh so here's your your meters you have uh four power meters on here so um electricity must be spread out amongst the rentals etc and um so these are the stairs that take you up to the upstairs where there is uh, a rental uh, and there is a renter there now uh, who lives there uh, currently. So that's what you have for the upper portion of, um, of the, uh, the home. Okay, and down the side here, we'll just take a peek. You got this little patio area here. And as we roll on, you can see that that is a pretty massive AC unit. So uh, looks like this uh, probably cools the whole house up, down, a whole bit. And there's the front yard. So let's turn back around this way because I want to take you over. And you can see as I walk this way, uh, this uh, brick building here, I believe is uh, the casita that they are talking about is a part of this property. I don't know about the uh, tin shed back there, if that is uh, on this property. Obviously, that's something we need to research with, like, uh, you know, survey. Get a survey and that sort of thing. But this is what you have down this side of the back, ha back side of the house. And I think this has uh, surely got to be the uh, Casita building here. Let's just go, I'm gonna go out in the street. I don't wanna disturb uh, tenants ever. And uh, so I think that's your uh, casita area there. And again, I don't know what that uh, metal shop, what that is a part of, but it's got a beautiful front door. Looks like it could be um, part of the casita. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so there you go. Built-in renters, potentially. That's the idea. So let's just walk down this way and we'll go back out to the front and then I'm going to um, lock it up. Here's another look from a different angle of the upstairs. Okay, and you can see the roof pretty good. Let's see, there you are. Some uh, rain gutters on there. And that's the little door we peeked out a minute ago. And back around to the front of the house. I just love these uh, style homes. It needs a lot of work. I would love to uh, see a house like this rehabilitated to its original grandeur. You know, what it looked like when it was built. Because this was a very beautiful and large and special home. Truly in a good uh, part of town, you know, downtown. When I say a good part of town, it's downtown, it's close to everything. 
um, you know, and yet it's a large enough lot. It could be an income property for you, etc. But it is beautiful, and it, it's um, it just needs a lot of love to uh, to make it right again, you know. And uh, that's just one of those things you got to consider if you want to uh, do something that is uh, beautifying our downtown or close to downtown, this Alameda area. So we're right in there. So anyway, that's about it. Okay, so uh, that's it for 400 West Las Cruces Avenue, the corner of Las Cruces and Armijo. It's a beautiful house. It is a historic uh, registered uh, place in Las Cruces. Needs a lot of work. Could be really just absolutely beautiful. It, it definitely has a ton of potential to be one of the most beautiful old historic homes in Las Cruces, New Mexico.